Now, your WLKY weather with Chief Meteorologist Jay Cardozo. That's yeah, a great bargain on a day like today. It's warm, it's muggy out there. The temperatures, upper 80s, the feel likes, and the low 90s, and we're there right now. All right, live look. This is from the Sheraton in Jeffersonville, spanning across the Ohio River back towards the Great Lawn, where the festivities are slowly getting underway a little bit later on tonight. I'm sure the Great Lawn's going to be packed full of uh, great music and of course the fireworks display a little bit later on. The numbers today, 88 and 74, warm and humid. Outside right now, you're gonna walk out to 88 degrees. Look at the dew point, almost 70. Boy, it's getting towards the oppressive range. And because of that, look at the feel like 93, a south southwesterly breeze right around six miles an hour. Let's talk rainfall. There hasn't been a lot today. We have really progressed into a typical summertime pattern. In other words, kind of hot, kind of humid, these popcorn type showers that we've had today from the pattern we had the past week to 10 days, the severe storms rolling through on occasion. So it's good to see the quieter weather returning. Nothing on the radar in town, but as we go up the I-71 corridor, some heavier downpours moving through Carrollton and now moving off to the south southeast into sections of Henry County as well as Owen County. So if you reside off towards the east and northeast of the metro, certainly a chance for a few showers. And you know what? Honestly, I think everybody has a chance for a stray pop-up shower the next hour or two just because it's so warm and humid. Uh, even though there's nothing going on across the Commonwealth, there is going to be that threat. Just something to keep in mind while the sun is still above the horizon. Once it sets, once we move into the dark hours, that'll be it for the rain chances. Right now, we have plenty of mid to upper 80s all across the region. You factor in that humidity, though, feels a little close out there, a little hotter as far as the uh, feel like temperatures go. We're in the low 90s. It feels like 93 in the metro. All right. Happy 4th, everybody. If you're heading out, be safe. Have a great time. That slight chance for a stray shower through 8, 9 o'clock tonight, and then once we move into the dark hours, we light up the night sky with all those fireworks. We'll be slipping down into the low 80s. Let me show you the big picture now. Again, we've had that typical summertime weather pattern evolving across the lower Ohio Valley. Good to see for a change. You know all that active weather that we had the past week to 10 days. Well, it's now off to the south. It's off to the west and northwest of us. And that's where we have some severe weather ongoing. Severe thunderstorm watches out there in the plains. Not going to be a very nice 4th of July night for those folks. Around here, when you wake up tomorrow morning, it'll be dry, kind of warm, humid. Upper 80, or I should say upper 60s and low 70s. And tomorrow's going to be a day a lot like today. That mix of sun and clouds, kind of hot, kind of humid, could give rise to a stray shower. Otherwise, your high temperatures back into the upper 80s and lower 90s on your Wednesday afternoon. Next best chance for a few widespread showers and storms will come on Thursday with a cold front. As it passes through, it'll bring us that chance. Here's the forecast for this evening. Any showers diminishing, staying muggy as we slowly drop through the 80s. Detailed forecast for tomorrow, Vicki, all the way up to 91. That much heat and humidity could give rise to a stray shower. Uh, it does look to be mainly dry Friday after that decent shot at rain Thursday. The weekend, Saturday's the pick, Vicki. It looks okay. mainly dry because a rain chance returns Saturday night into Sunday. It looked too bad, though. Yeah, and I think this evening, once we move beyond the dark hours, once we move mm -hmm. into the dark hours, I should say, looking pretty good all across the area for those. Dry skies for the fireworks. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Jay. Sure.